how to create abstract metallic type effects such as this in Photoshop. PC or Mac, go to the type tool, horizontal type tool and type something. I'm going with lorem ipsum. You could of course type anything. Press return. Now I'm just going to resize it, make it a bit bigger. And once you've done that, what you need to do then, press return, is to turn it into a work path. So you can do that via type, create work path. And you've got a work path. You can see there in the path, you've got a work path. The key thing is to make certain that's still selected. So I don't need the type anymore, but I'm just going to deselect that now. And then I'm just going to go to layer and new and layer. It's always best to work on a layer, so click OK. You can always delete it, change it, modify it, apply effects. Make certain the layer selected, then go to filter, and then down to render and flame. Now it will come up with a message like that saying the path is too long, just ignore it. Basically, it seems to work okay. I'm just gonna go with flame type of one, one flame, and also set the width to fairly low. I would suggest if you push it too high, you just can't see anything. So about 20, 10, so you just reduce it down, and you can always enter the value there. And then click OK. I'm also going for fine, so it just makes it a nice picture. Again, it's not generally very slow, so click OK. It takes a few seconds to process, and there you've got your text. The text is still there, so I can delete that now. I don't need that, nor do I need the work path, so I can deselect that. Now I've got this design, this layer, but I can apply effects to it. So I'm just gonna go down here to effects, so click there, and I'm gonna go for bevel and emboss. So bevel and emboss, you can also access it via here, layer, layer style, and bevel and emboss. That's another option as well. So bevel and emboss, and you can see straight away, you've got a very dramatic effect. Now you can run through all these gloss contours, always a great start, so just run through them, Personally, I always find this one, the two peak one. I don't know what it's called, is it called two peak? I don't know, but there's a variety of them. That one makes it look more concrete like, I think. But this one, more metallic effect. You can also change the angle, so you can change it. You can also go to the window menu and you've got styles. So you can apply all the styles you've got to that design. You can change this, the depth. Now I think you can just reduce down. But personally, I like to put it to the max with inner bevel and smooth. You can go for chisel hard, which isn't so good, or chisel soft, which is actually creates a sort of very noisy sort of design. I think that's really nice as well. Go with smooth. So with that, you can tweak that until you're happy with that, and then click OK. So now you've got that design, well, you can apply other effects. You can always go here to layer, smart objects, and convert to smart object. So with that, you've got this, you can then go over here, filter, maybe filter galleries, neural filters, all of them can be used with this text. So again, distort, or maybe blur, or stylize and oil paint. Click OK, and you've got that effect. And you can also apply image adjustments, levels, to just tweak that text, to create all kinds of unusual designs very quickly in Photoshop. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.